Hi everyone, today we are going to see our grade 8 science that is revision chapter 16, the light lesson 17 that is the solar system and the lesson 18 that is the air pollution in the water pollution. First we talk about the light, how is it the scening made the possible, scening is made possible through the by the special type of the sense organ that name is the our eyes. By that we can see all the worlds and the universe thing such as the water, such as the mountain, such as the books, you and me and whatever the natural things that is surrounded to us. So that is today we are going to see the into the light and what is the law of the refraction and how we can take care about our eyes. Now further in the chapter 17 that is we see the what is the solar system and which is the biggest planet of the world that is the the sun. Now further that is the comets, metroids, all the things we are going to see by one by one. Now further we are going to see afterwards the chapter number 11. What is the air in the water pollution? Ex students without the air we can't be able to live with a seconds fraction without the air. But we can live without the food, without the water, but air be must. So, what is the its importance? What is the atmosphere? How the various gases? And what is the composition of the air? It means the nitrogen, oxygen, and whatever the various type of the inert gases that also come and include into the air pollution. And what's the pollutant? And what's the we do the remedies? And how we can the protect to our water by the and the air by the pollutants. So, various things and our pious river that is the Ganga and what is the Ganga action plan and what is the ambitious that is the how the things for that. So, today one by one we are going to see in it the revision. So, first we are proceeding towards the light. What is the light? Light, light is a form of energy which includes the sensation of the various from our eyes and make us able to see the various things and present in our surroundings. When the light falls off an object, some part of light is reflected back to the our eyes. It swings the reflect towards the object and that it goes towards any object. It is again the reflect and by that reflection our eyes able to see and by that and are able to see the object because of the light and being the reflected from the object. Now further what is the properties of the light? Its form of the energy, it is the travel into the straight line, light able the travel into the straight way and light can form the shadows also. What is the law of the reflection? It is the very precious law. What is the law of the reflection? Now here we are going to see the light is form of the energy and that energy which include the sensation of the vision in our eyes and make us able to see various things that is present in our surrounding. When the light falls on an object some part of light is reflected back to our eyes and then we are able to see an object because of light being reflected from the object. What is the properties of of the light. The lights have the different type of the properties. It is form of energy. It travel in the straight line. What do you mean the straight line? It means it not the change its direction. It goes the directly straight way. Now light can form the shadows also. How the form the shadow? Such as it is my hand and I keep it here in the way in the path of the light. So here is the forming one shadow. Are you able to see that? So that is due to the presence of the light form here the shadow. Now further we are going to see the law of the reflection. What is that? The two law of the reflections are the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of the reflection. First is angle of incidence. What is the incidence? It means whatever the lights did enter that is the incidence ray and once again it is reflected 
from the surface this is called the reflected ray and this incidence ray it's mentioned by the i and it is the reflected ray that is mentioned by the small r and this is the normal plus so that is the reflection surface and that is we can ask the angle i equal to the angle r angle i is a1 equal to the angle r now further the incidence ray the normal of the mirror at the point of the incidence and the reference reflected ray or light into the same plan it means whatever the incidence ray come and it's reflect from the same plan that is the angle i equal to the angle r now for the, the second case we are going to see how it is the reflected now further we are going to see the formation by the plane mirror in the figure pq we take here is the one figure plane mirror in o is an object an incident ray oa here is the incident ray is the oa are coming from the any object and this incidence ray are reflected and this appear to meet at the point i what is the point i it's reflected up to here and this is the point where the image is formed so by this reflection we can see into the mirror the various things now the some feature is image formed by the plane mirror how we get that the obtaining image is always formed behind the mirror not the front of the mirror an obtaining image is virtual and which means it can't be obtained on the screen why it can't be on the screen because it is the virtual an image is erect and the laterally inverted image size is equal to the object size distance of object from the mirror distance of image from the mirror both are ever the equal and the distance of the object and the image is the same from the mirror both remain the same now further we are going to see the regular and the diffused reflection what is the regular and what is the diffused by the name we come to know what is the regular diffusion here when the reflection surface is smooth and the well polished the parallel ray falling on it and the parallel to the another one the reflected light goes to the particular direction and also the parallel to each other and this is the regular reflection example the plane mirror and the reflected from the steel water now further we are going to see with it the diagram this is the diagram of the reflection but that is the regular reflection that is why here is the base that is the amen r that is the same in this rays are come here it means the incidence and that is the reflected so all of the regularly reflected and that is why this is called the regular reflection and just opposite we are going to see what that is called the diffused and the irregular reflection reflection when the reflecting surface is rough when the surface here the surface is the not rough but here is the surface is the rough which type of rough like this this is the surface is the rough not it is the regular it is rough it means the zigzag in this on this the whatever the falling rays are the reflected in the different direction it's come 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 and goes into the different type of the direction is known as the diffused either the irregular reflection for example reflection of light from the wall of room either the tree so that is the remain the zigzag not the properly why the tree because tree what is the shape of the tree that's not can able to give the correct and the straight light what is the multiple images multiple images it means when the two or more mirror are the placed at the angle of the one another and we can see the multiple images of the object for example in the hair dresser shop two mirror are placed opposite to each other and if a man is sit between them 
and his image is formed in the both the mirrors this image is one mirror would act as an object for the another mirror this sequence would continue this will give the result in the formation of the multiple images this thing shown in this picture here the hairdresser that show again the mirror and whatever the four images are here is the mat that is called the multiple images now further we are going to see the number of image formed depend on the angle between the two mirror this can be calculated by using the following formula what is the following formula number of images 360 upon the angle minus 1 now further if the given two mirror are at the right angle to each other three image will be obtained if the given mirror are 60 degree angle we shall get the five images and when the two mirror are kept the opposite and the parallel to each other and we will get the infinite number of the images formed here that is the example is the kelido scope the idea of the multiple images by the kaleidoscope by the mirror placed in angle of one another is used into the kaleidoscope and to make the numerous beautiful pattern various type of the beautiful pattern we can see here and to make a kaleidoscope get three rectangular mirror strip about 50 cm long 4 cm wide each and join them together to form a prism by that we can make the prism and fix them in a circular it means the circular cardboard and the tube and of a thick chart paper this is the thick chart paper in the circular type of the shape this is the circular type of the shape so what is this students this is the kaleido scope this shown here a part b part and the c part now what is the a uh, beautiful sense organ that is the human eye by that we are able to see the object we see object only when the light coming from the object reflected eyes is one of the our most important sense organ which give us the sense of vision it is the picture of the human eye it is the picture of human eye it's have the ciliary muscles it is the iris it is the lens it is the cornea it is the retina and it is the optic nerve by this optic nerve we are able to see the things now further the cornea what is the function of that i am going to explain you first we are talking the cornea it is located in the front of the portion of the eyes and the transport the window the the block outwards and the responsible for the maximum refraction it means the bending the light iris it is a thin circular color structure and it's work like a shutter of the eyes now next is the pupil it is an adjustable circular opening that's the locate at the center of the iris now further the lens what is the special role yeah special roles have the lens what is the special role it made of the jelly transparent material it is a by convex structure it is present behind the pupil not the front pupil it is the behind the pupil the size and the thickness of the lens and the changes for the distance of object by the ciliary muscles now for the retina the screen of eyes what is called this this is the screen of our eyes and reflect as to retina the because the light ray come through the pupil and pass through the lens and the convex screen called the retina retina contains several nerve cell these are two kind cell first is the cone cell that is the rod cell students it's very very precious cells why precious which are sensitive to the bright light and sense color by the cones we are able to identify the colors such as the white green red yellow pink that is and the rod cell which are sensitive to the dim lights 
Whence we go into the dim light due to the rods we are able to see the various things into the dim light either the less light. Optic nerve it is located into back the eyes back side optic nerve are bundle of the over 1 million nerve fiber that carries visual message from the retina towards the brain it's sending the message now further we are going to see the blind spot what is the blind spot blind spot is a small region where the optic nerve is the retina meet it has no the sensory cell no sensory cell due to there hence no image is formed at this spot on the retina what is the working style of the our eyes now we are going to see light reflect off from the object and enter the eyeball through the transparent layer of the tissue at the front of called the corona now second is the cornea bends the light rays through the pupil the dark opening in the center of the colored portion of the eyes and the adjacent light press through the eyes natural crystalline lens now further the eye lens converge all the light and the rays on the retina and the make the images the retina convert this light rays into the electrical signals and related to the brain via the brain via the optic nerve in the brain process by that the information to receive so it turn we can see the various things now we are going to see how we the persistence of the vision the impression of image does not vanish and the immediately from the retina an image persists there about the 116 116 of the second and this feature is called the persisting of the vision it is very precious feature now if the still image of a moving object are flashed on the eye at a rate faster than the 16 percent and then the eye perceive through this object is moving we can see what is the example of it due to this persistence of vision where when we see the many still images in a sequence and they give the illusion of the moving images movies animation are made by the exploring this property of the human eye also have no need to any artificial camera it's how the our system fix into to our eyes that's given us to the natural by the god's gift now the care of eyes it is a very needful how we care our eyes yes how we can the see safety what is the safety rule of the eyes eyes are very important sense organ as we know and it is necessary to take the proper care of our eyes some points are as given follow if there were there is any problem we should go for the checkup for the eye specialist too bright are the two dim light it may be the brightness it may be the dim light it's bad for the eyes it means insufficient light cause the eye strain and the headache it is start the headache also do not look at the sun either the directly towards the powerful lights never rub your eyes we never rub our eyes and if particles of dust go into the eyes wash your eyes with the clean water if there is no improvement go to the doctor and always read the book and newspaper at the normal distance not it keep it the very near either the not keep it very far it's kindly keep it at a properly distance now vision defects what is the vision defect some of the reason how the defect such is the myopia a person with myopia can see near object clearly why the distance object appear the blurred why that due to the myopia it means the vision of myopic person can able to see the due to the convex lens can improve this vision hyper metro p 
hypermetropia. What is the hypermetropia? A person with hypermetropia that is suffered with that, that is clearly see the distant object, distant object what is that can see be easily, but can't see the nearby object. This process is called the hypermetropia. Now further the convex lens can improve the vision either hypermetropic vision. Now further we are going to see the cataract. What is the cataract? During old age you heard very time this name cataract many suffer especially the old age people who completed 60 year old age during old age the crystalline lens becomes milky and the cloudy in a cataract patient thus the person can't see the clearly that is the cataract is treated by the surgery cataract surgery the cloudy lens is removed and artificial lens is the transplant in the eye so when the transplant any type of the lens in that that is the cataract lens now we are going to see the visually challenged person some people including children face with the disability of the vision this ability of the vision can be partially or the complete in such person are called the visually challenged person now further we are going to see what is the optical aids optical aids help a person who is partially visually challenged these aids enlarge an image or text so that they could be visible that can be able to see and by focal lens it is the, not the single while the bifocal lens and the tined lenses magnifies telescopic aids and the magnifying devices. Telescopic device come under this category. Non-optical aids. What is the non-optical aids? That is help a person who is completely visually challenged. Non-optical aids include the visual aids. What is the visual aids? It is the tactual acid using the sense of touch, using the sense of hearing and the electronic aids that is used for the non-optical aids. Now further we are going to see the auditory acids include the casters and the tape recorder and the talking books or other such devices we can use especially for this type of the persons. Now closed circuit television also in the electronic gazette and it aids enlarge the printed material with the suitable contract can start illumination. Now further we are going to see the Louis Braille. Who is the Louis Braille? Why he was the famous? He is the very famous, the most popular resource for the visually challenged person he is known as the Louis Braille. And what is the Braille code is issued for the common language. Mathematics science and the Louis Braille was born in 1809 in the France. He became blind due to the accident in the childhood age. But he developed the Braille script in the 1824. He developed a very nice script and that the script is especially for the blind people. And Braille script, what is the Braille script? Braille script, the system has the 63 raised dot pattern in a character and the each character either the pattern represent a letter combination and for the letters in the common word either that the uh, grammatical signs dots are arranged in cell of two vertical rows in the three dots each. A reader need to touch the braille script to read it explain for the dot pattern. What is dot pattern? This is the dot pattern such as C. So they mention here is the two darkish dots. A. So here is the one darkish dot. T. So here is the this type of the this structure and the comma then this type of the downside that is the comma. It is special type of the script by this the blind person can also read by the braille script. 
now we are proceeding the next chapter that is the chapter 17 that's name is the solar system and all the planets stars first we are going to see the celestial object celestial bodies what is that that is like the stars the planets the moon etc which are the present in the space of known as the celestial object this is the celestial object now we further going to see the moon what is the moon the face of moon the different shape of the moon visible during the various days in the month are called the various faces of the moon in this picture the shown the various faces of the moon different faces of the moon here the start from the first it is look like a crescent moon it's start from this various the faces of the moon and this cycles repeat again full moon day it is day which the moon is visible fully in a circle form that is called the full moon day now further we are going to see this is the full moon this is the this image full moon here is the not type of the any type of the irregularities found here new moon day what is the new moon day new moon day it means the after the full moon day moon appeared to become the very thinner and thinner and on the 15th day the moon is not visible even though and this moon this day is known as the new full moon day why does the moon have the different phases moon does not have its own light in the actually it's reflect the light coming from the sun in which is responsible for the various phases after new moon day the visibility size of the illuminated part of the moon and seen from earth keeps increasing and after full moon day it keep the decreasing now further we are going to see moon is visible due to the reflected the sun light it is the here the sun and when come the light of on the moon then it is visible to us now the position of the moon in its orbit and it's the corresponding faces it's have the different type of the faces that is the corresponding changes faces and that's from here also the mention here the first now it is the visible very little and afterwards also that is the it turn into the invisible so whatever the order into the it's rotate into the orbit what is the faces are there the moon's surface what is the moon's surface the moon is surface is the dusty barren and the moon has the no atmosphere in the water here so here is the confirm no atmosphere in water suppose we go and live on the moon but it is not possible but we can go in travel there now further we are going to see and it is the surface of the moon it look like this the stars these are the object which the twinkle in the sky at night sun is the nearest star to our planet and which is the approx 115 million kilometer away from the earth now further we are going to see the light year what is the light year light is defined as the distance traveled by the light in a one year and it is unit to measure the large distance the speed of light is about the this is the 300000 kilometer per second and the distance of the sun from the earth may be the said to be about the 8 light minutes pole star what is the pole star it is the star which is situated in the direction of the earth exists that is the pole star and this is the picture is the pole star now the constellation what is a constellation the different known shape are formed by a group of stars it is called the constellation and this is the picture of the various type of the constellation such as the great bear such as the orion such as the 
Cassiopeia and such as the Leo Major and some the constellation in the night sky first is the Ursa Major what is the Ursa Major this constellation consists of the seven stars it is called the Ursa Major it looks like a big ladder it seem like a big ladder or a cushion mark and these are three stars in the handle of the ladder and four is in the bowl that is called the ursa major it is all now again we see the it is also known as the big deeper what is the big deeper the great bear of the saptarishi it is called the big deeper now further we are going to see here the picture of the saptarishi how the saptarishi it is the four stars and the five six seven that is why it is called the sapt rishi now further we are going to see the orion what is the orion it is another well known constellation and visible during the late evening into the winter orion it also the consist of the seven are the eight bright stars in the three middle stars in the orion represent the belt of the hunter and the remaining four bright stars are the arranged in the form of the quadrilateral orion is also called the hunter and this orion many students know the another form of the orion they like that the orion biscuits also so here by that you can learn it now the sirius what is this it is the brightest star into the sky and to find the location of the sirius image is the straight light and the passing through the belt of the three middle stars of the orion this is the picture of the sirius now the cassiopeia what is the cassiopeia it is another popular constellation in the northern sky it is visible during the winter in the early part of the night and it looks like a distorter level what is the distorter level that is mentioned here distorter level w or the m so here that is called the distorter lever sometime it is m form sometime it is form the w way that is called the distorter order now further we are going to see the solar system it consists of the sun another celestial object and in the space revolving around the sun the gravitational attraction between the sun and this objects and then revolving around it and the various entities like planets meteorites comets etc are the part of our solar system it eight planets and the their order of the distance from the sun are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and the neptune so that is the sequence of that that is and how you learn is you can learn here the one very small trick by that you can keep it learn my very efficient mother just serve us nuts by this name you can learn the all the name of the solar planets and it is the special trick i made for the you how you keep it in your mind by the easily way now the sun the sun is the nearest strongest biggest star among is the star present in the universe it is the main source of heat light for all planets especially the earth now further we are going to see its a picture of the sun and now further we are going to see the another planets what is that the planets are like stars and the do not have light of their own they also don't have their own light and they merely reflect the sunlight and that falls on them the planets keep changing their position with the respect to the star 
these are the object revolving around the sun in fixed path this fixed path is termed as the orbit period of revolution what is the period of the revolution here we are going to see it is the time taken by the planet to complete full revolution around the sun period of the rotation is the time taken by the planet to complete one rotation around its own axis satellite what is the satellite these are the celestial bodies present around our celestial body example moon is a satellite of the earth now next we talk about the artificial satellite these are the man made satellite present around the earth that is called the artificial satellite why it is artificial because it is made by the us human being now further we are going to see the planets revolving around the sun first see the mercury it's called the budh what is the specification it is nearest planet to the sun and the smallest planet present in our the solar system it is very difficult to observe it it most of the time it is hide hidden in the glare of the sun mercury has no satellite of its own and the it is the nearest planet of the sun second is the venus it means the shukra and it is nearest planet to the earth its brightest planet and the visible in the night sky it's also called a morning or the evening star venus rotates on its own axis is to west and venus has no moon or the satellite of its own now further we are going to see the earth it is the only planet in the solar system in on which life exist on the earth the earth have one more specification that earth it is the life giving planet it's have the only the exist life on the earth why due to the presence of the life giving gas that is the oxygen now further the earth appear blue green due to the reflection of light from water land mass on its surface this axis of rotation of the earth is not perpendicular to the plane of its object perpendicular it means like this shape t shaped that is called the perpendicular and this tilted it is the slightly tilted it is the not straight it is the slightly tilted form now it has only one moon or the satellite of its own now further we are going to see this is the further the mars it means the mangal and it looks some what such is the reddish and so it is also known as the red planet and mars has two small natural satellites also now further we are going to see the jupiter what is the jupiter jupiter it means the braspati it is very precious why the precious it is largest planet of the solar system it rotates very rapidly on its axis jupiter has a large number of the satellite and also has the faint rings around it it is about the 13 times larger than that of the earth and its mass about the 318 times than that of the our earth now further we are going to see the after the jupiter we are going to see the saturn saturn it means the shani by this name shani we feel the fear by that due to the it's called now it's a sade sati shani so that is but no need to afraid here we are going to see what is the scientific reason of the shani and why it's have the sade sati 7 and half years what is the rings relation with this sade sati now by the scientific reason we are going to see and we now remove our fear through this scientific reason it is yellowish colored planet and there are the beautiful rings around this planet which are not observed in any other another planet it is the least dense and the all the planets and is the density is less than that of the water 
also. Now further we are proceeding towards the Uranus. What is the Uranus? Is the one of the outermost planet of the solar system. The most distinctive feature of the Uranus is that is how the highly tilted rotation it's on the axis. Now further is the Neptune. It is the outermost planet of the solar system. That is the Neptune. Now some other celestial members of the solar system. That is the asteroid. The smallest rocks like the substance that are obtaining around the sun are called asteroids. It is found in the large gap between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. They are visibly only through the large telescope. Now further we are going to see what is that. That is the comets. They are revolve around the sun and in the highly elliptical, it elliptical shape either the circular or beat. It looks like if it a bright head with the long tail also it's how it has been there the tail keeps growing in size as it keeps approaching towards the sun. Now further after the comets we are going to see the meteors. What is the meteor? These are the small type of the object enter the earth atmosphere. It occasionally enter the earth atmosphere with very high speed. Due to friction of the earth atmosphere, it glows then they evaporate quickly. That is why the bright stick lasts for the very short time that is called the metroids. Now further we are going to see the metroid. What is the metroid? These are the leftover object that reaches the earth. Metroids help the scientist in the investigation the nature of the material from which the solar system was the formed due to the metroids. Now further we are going to see the further that is the artificial satellite. Before that we seen the all the natural satellite that the made by the nature. Now we are going to proceed towards the artificial satellite. It means whatever the satellites that is the made by the us we the human being. So here first these are the man made satellite such as the Aribhatta was the first Indian satellite and this Aribhatta some other Indian satellites is the inset in the IRS, Kalpana first, Edu set etc. And they are used for forecasting weather and the television radio signal that is the called the artificial satellite. This is the example of the artificial satellite. Now we are proceeding towards the chapter 18 that is the pollution of the air and the water. What is the air and the water pollution? So now further we are going to see the pollution. What is the meaning of the pollution? When I want to give you the introduction of the pollution, it means the introducing here is the various the poisonous gases that mix into the air, it may be into the water, then it create the pollution due to the various type of the pollutants. So now further here we are going to see the environment that may cause the adverse effects. What is that? Now we will discuss the different type of the pollution. Air pollution. Going to see the air pollution. It is contamination of the air which take place due to the unwanted substance which cause the harmful effects both biotic and abiotic. What is the biotic and abiotic that's we are going to see by the industries it is the discharging various type of the harmful gases and that mix into the environment and create the various type of the air pollution this is the also the example of the air pollution and that is the hazardous for our health and from the factories that is the releasing smoke from the volcanic eruption also that is also the responsible for the contamination of the air are called the pollutant. Now the effects of the air pollution. Many problems related to the respiratory system might be caused due to the air pollution. 
oxygen carrying the capacity of the blood reduced because of the burning of the vehicle fuels and as the vehicle emit the high level of the pollutants like the carbon monoxide like the carbon dioxide nitrogen oxide smoke into the atmosphere now further we are going to see the smoke what is the smoke it's the comprise the smoke and the fog it contain the oxides of the nitrogen and causes the problem in the breathing and cough etc and also there are the visibility problem in the affected area what is the this is the effect of the smoke in this picture shown now further we are going to see the sulfur dioxide from the burning of fuel such as the result into respiratory system now here we are going to see the cfc chlorofluorocarbons and cfc damage the ozone layer and this is layer present into the now steel into the our atmosphere and the ozone layer is responsible for the protecting from us the harmful all the rays such as the ultraviolet rays infrared rays and that is and this is the very nice picture that i brought for you here how the various type of the rays that is the ultraviolet rays and what is the it should have the range stratosphere ozone troposphere and afterwards the depletion of ozone layer due to only and only and only the one that is the cfc then we should control the cfc now further we are proceeding towards the what is the acid rain gases like sulfur nitrogen react with the water vapor in present in the environment to form the sulfuric acid and the nitric acid and this acid drop down with rain water and due to this the acid rain corrode the outer surface of the buildings and that's also due to the taj mahal becoming the white color turn into the pale yellow color and the acid rain has corroded the marble of its monument and the phenomena is called the marble cancer this is the taj mahal this is recognized due to its beauty but this time this taj mahal is recognized due to its dirty color that is called the one disease it suffered that name is the marble cancer and its color white turn into the yellow color now further the greenhouse effect it's trapping the radiation inside the earth atmosphere along with the other gas co also get trapped into the atmosphere which is responsible for the greenhouse effect and because of human activity around there is the co level is increased an atmosphere which trap heat and does not allows to escape into the space so that is called the global warming and this is the very nice picture students here is the absorption of the sun rays into the atmosphere reflection also of the radiation in greenhouse gases that is co2 ch4 h2 now further we are going to see the what is the effect effect of the global warming and global warming can cause the sea level is the rise dramatically and it coastal area have the already been the flooded greenhouse gases it's also the again nice picture for you that is the ocean and greenhouse various the gases now for the effect of the water level global warming could result in wide ranging effect of rainfall pattern and agriculture forest plant in animals now the key point to prevent air pollution trees take up the carbon dioxide and release the oxygen and so the planting more harmful trees will reduce the amount of the carbon dioxide we should use the cng in steer the petrol diesel into the auto mobiles now further we should planting more trees and the here we talk about the daily transportation system they also the accepted the world largest eco friendly cng bus services now further we go to see bus powered by the 
CNG and trying using public transport more. So that is the all the pictures I have collected especially for you how you can also the travel by the specially type of the transport public means. Now further we are going to see the public transport location of the factory industry must be remote area, natural resources like the solar energy, tidal energy and the should be used. Water pollution, this is the addition of the undesirable in the unwanted material in water make us it is the harmful and biotic or biotic the component is called the water pollution. Now the collecting here is the garbage, various type of the industrial waste into the discharge the river. Now potable water, that water which the convenient for the consumption is known as the potable water. How the water purified? By the various layers of this napkin or the fine cloth followed cotton sand then gravel and now the pour dirty water through the filter and observe the filter water. Effects of the water polluting that is the river Ganga is the 10,000 most endangered river and world large quantity of garbage, untreated sewage, dead bodies, many other harmful things discharge into the river and all these have result into the adverse condition for the aquatic animals in the river Ganga. It is the example Haridwars, Harkipedi and this is the river Ganga. An effect of pollution of the Ganga due to that the create the various type of the diseases, diarrhea, joint disease and various type of diseases. What is the prevent water pollution? Industry must treat waste before the discharging of the water. Now further at household level the type filter can be used in the more ever water be boiled before the drinking and kill its jump inside the water and proper sewage treatment plan must be implemented. Hours for the prevention of the water pollution. What is the hours? Various type of the hours reduce, reuse and the refuse that is recycle that is the hours and each year human being generate million of tons of the waste from the garbage and refuse of the trace it waste that produce at our home and the community this waste are thrown out the water bodies rivers make the water contaminated what is the reduce waste prevention reduce reuse we can reuse the things in our daily life daily routine recycle recycle prevents the generation of many the greenhouse grass water pollutant and most of the favored option least favored option that is the prevention then the minimization then the reuse recycle energy recovery and the disposal so this was the our, our cycle and by this applying we can save our water and air pollution. So good luck for your exam. Bye. Thank you.